All right, everybody. That whole month or so that I've been gone, I've been trying to get the computer working again, but I've also been playing Diablo 3 in anticipation for Diablo 4. I have... I saw a amazing build by YouTuber Rex. Uh, I'll put a link to his video or just his channel in the description. He's an amazing gamer. Uh, plays a lot of Diablo 3. Uh... I figured I'd do seasonal. I don't normally do seasonal, but I feel left out, and this is supposedly the last season before Diablo 4 comes out, and I think it might be the last season altogether, unless they keep servicing this game, but that would be really cool. Uh, but I've been grinding really hard, as you can see. This is uh, my Goblin Blaster 10,000, courtesy of doing the build that racks uh, recommended, you know, I, uh, let's see here, I, I've got all, I've done all the objectives, and I feel super upset because I have, I wasted my Hadrig's gift on the Necromancer instead of using it to get the Goblin Blaster 10,000, uh, build set or whatever for uh for the demon hunter but i've got a pretty strong necromancer too it's a death nova necromancer and i play it every now and again for the hell of it but it just feels so slow compared to, to the demon hunter that i've got uh so you know i completed my season journey i even let's go to season one where the altar of or not season one Act 1 in a new Tristram where the new where the new uh, the altar of rights is and I've got the altar maxed out as you can see all of it it took me a little while to do but I grinded it and I got it uh, and ever sadly ever since I got this last one when a primal item drops a second primal of random item drops as well uh, that also came with these wings here they should be the wings of destruction wings of terror nice oh and this pet was uh, what you get in the uh, at the very end of your season journey Tain in the tiny, however slight her form, her dance among the stars leave ripples in the high heavens. What do the wings say? You feel an evil entity slowly taking over your soul. Nice. But yeah, whenever I strafe, it doesn't mess with me like normal wings do when I strafe. So, and it's not big and gaudy like normal wings are. And it also leaves a little flame trail behind you. I think it's super cool. Uh, the reason why I've been hanging out in Act 2 is because uh, Squirt the Peddler, this little merchant here, she sells uh, essences of emerald, which is what I use to convert other gems to emerald because dexterity is my main, uh, is my main uh, skill or character trait or whatever. Primary attribute. Uh, so... I, uh, I, I use the gems to augment things, uh, as high as I can, and it's actually been surprisingly a little tedious to get the gems together for it, but I've got the Broken Crown, which makes it to where whenever a gem drops, another gem of what's in my helm drops as well, and then I just, another type of that gem anyway drops, and then I... I just use the essences to change it. Uh, so anyway, enough talking. Let's. I'll show you what I've been doing. <laughs> Opening a Nephilim Rift, just a plain old Nephilim Rift. Done. Any minute now. Any Nephilim. 
Ooh, I hear a... Oh, two of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Need more time. Holy crap. That was quite a haul. That was amazing. I'm glad you guys were able to come along with me for that journey. Holy crap. Alright, let me get my stacks of momentum up there. You see that little ankle with the, uh, the little Namor, the Submariner wings on it? That's momentum, and that helps keep my damage and my speed up when I go into strafe. Oh no, my controller battery is low. I'm gonna have to go get some batteries here in a minute. This has been one of the most generous caves I think I've ever been in. Need more time. You see how fast I'm just tearing through these guys? This is amazing. This is a uh, Torment 16. Still waiting. Thirty-six billion toughness, twelve billion vitality. Well, not vitality, but yeah, maybe twelve billion vitality, and then one point two million damage. The toughness is from uh, Gold Wrap. I have it in Kanai's Cube active abilities. So, in anything other than Greater Rifts, I become like super powerful, and then I've got a different loadout that I've got saved in uh, the armory uh, for Greater Rifts and I, I speed run Greater Rifts uh, as this guy. It's amazing. You can go through them really quickly. I speed run anywhere uh, between uh, Greater Rifts levels uh, 90 to 105. 100 and, or I think 110 lately but it it takes a little bit longer and sometimes I die which that's a bummer because then you lose an extra uh, an extra chance on upgrading a legendary gem Man prodder? Huh. I am returning to power. Alright, gonna go speak to Auric and do some stuff while waiting that for that portal to open up. Or, I mean close down, and then I'll hit up a greater rift and show you guys what that's about. Your trial Huh. I'm gonna repair all man prodder. Huh. I don't need any of this stuff. I've pretty much got what I need. The only thing I need now is just 
you know, if I can get some primal ancients of the stuff that I wear already, that would be great. Alright, so now that I am going, uh, I'm going to swap out the Enchantress for the Scoundrel now that I'm going into the Greater Rifts. And then I'm going to swap to Solo Speed Greater Rift. That's Solo uh, Greater Rift Push for when I'm trying to push for more levels, but I haven't really worked on that. I find that Solo Speed Greater Rift is pretty good for right now. Uh, let's see what I got going on here. So cool looking. I love this combo. Alright. I don't want to do 110 because I might make myself just look like a fool. I'm going to do 100 because I, I hear that's like the best for getting all legendaries and stuff. But it's a different game now because I'm not protected by gold wrap here. So whenever I see those fat guys uh, or those dang bloaters or whatever whenever they're about to you know blow up after death I've got to I've got to run away otherwise I'm gonna die or those uh, those dang explosive rounds or whatever the circles where uh, the red explosion is gonna happen I've got to get out of those uh, otherwise it takes away from my time and it also takes away from me being able to upgrade a gym which that's no fun. Not ready yet. Oh yeah. I'm like a moving turret. It's amazing. Need more time. It would almost be like so the only thing that sucks is that every now and again you got to stop to to use your active ability or your primary ability or whatever. I think is what it's called. Uh, it's Hungering Arrow, and the set that I'm using makes it to where Strafe uses your last primary attack or whatever. Uh, so I'm using Hungering Arrow a lot, but I have to like recharge momentum for Hungering Arrow, despite using Hungering Arrow with Strafe. It's like the game doesn't realize that you're doing it. Man, just tearing them up. Still waiting. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys what I've been doing uh, while trying to get the computer operational again. I've put, been putting in some serious work. I'm on the Xbox One right now. It's one of the original ones. I, I've had it since 2015. When I was working at Walmart, I worked Black Friday, and I got a... Uh, I got a certificate or whatever that I could use to get 15% off of every, uh, off of like one, uh, 15% off of one transaction, and then on top of my discount card that was an additional 10%. So it was 25% off of one, and should have been almost 800 bucks, but I only ended up like paying 545 for this Xbox, a couple of games, and a TV. So I, I got out of there like a bandit. My hatred is too low. Uh, what gym was I leveling up? When did you have a gym? What do you need? Well, I guess I can just start leveling up the next one I'm going to use for an augment. All right. Very nice. Gonna go speak to Auric in town and uh, get that portal closed up. Level up. Oh yeah, I'm level 1116, Paragon level. My controller died. Huh. Alright, guys, I'm going to call it here. 
you guys got the idea of what I've been doing, and I'll get back to my Fallout 4 Let's Play uh, here soon. So get ready for Heavy Metal Detectives Part 2. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, uh, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon for updates. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.